Hello, welcome back. Thanks for watching. You may not have known it, but today there were Supreme Court hearings over the ability to charge January 6 protesters with a crime of obstruction. Justice Gorsuch laid into the Biden DOJ for going way past the scope of that charge, which was passed after the Enron scandal. They're doing this in order to sweep up as many anti Biden protesters as they possibly can and throw the book at them, with this law carrying a sentence of up to 20 years. Is this America or Putin's Russia? So, so. What, what does that mean for the breadth of this statute? Um, would a sit-in that disrupts a trial or access to a federal courthouse qualify? Would a heckler in today's audience qualify or at the State of the Union address? Would pulling a fire alarm uh, uh, before a vote qualify for 20 years in federal prison? There are multiple elements of the statute that I think might not be satisfied by those hypotheticals, and it relates to the point I was going to make to the Chief Justice about the breadth of this statute. Uh, the, the kind of built-in limitations are the things that I think would potentially suggest that many of those things wouldn't be something the government could charge or prove as 1512c2 beyond a reasonable doubt, would include the fact that the actus reus does require obstruction, which we understand to be a meaningful interference. So that means that if you have some minor disruption or delay or some minimal Outburst. Okay, we don't so, think it falls so within the my, my to outbursts begin with. require uh, uh, the court to, 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 to reconvene after, after um, the, the proceeding has been brought back into line, or uh, the, the pulling of the fire alarm, the vote has to be rescheduled, or uh, the, the protest outside of a courthouse makes it inaccessible for a period of time. Are those all federal felonies subject to 20 years in prison? So with some of them, it would be necessary to show nexus. So with respect to the protest outside assume, the courthouse, we'd I can, have to show that, yes, they I were aiming I've at shown, the proceeding. I, yeah, they were trying to stop the proceeding. Yes, and then we'd also have to be able to prove that they acted corruptly, and this sets a stringent mens rea. It's not even just the mere intent to obstruct. We have to show that also, but we have to show that they had corrupt intent in acting in that way. We and went around that tree yesterday. I, I know. I, I, uh, I heard the argument yesterday. but. I guess what I would say is that to the extent that your hypotheticals are pressing on the idea of a peaceful protest, even one that's quite disruptive, it's not clear to me that the government would be able to show that each of so those protesters have corrupt protests intent. So mostly peaceful protest that actually obstructs and impedes an, an official proceeding for an indefinite period would not be covered? Not uh, necessarily. We would just have to have the evidence of intent. And that's a oh, high no, bar. They, I, I, they, I, I'm, they, they right. intend to do it all right. Right there, she's doing exactly what I'm always talking about. Making sure her ideology always has a carved out exception to do all the things they prosecute their opponents for. It's quite literally impossible to hold them to the standards that they hold their opponents to. But the insane charges that these protesters are getting is weird, considering the violent Democrat riots that rage for the entire Trump presidency and they had their charges widely dropped by Democrat DAs. And in some cases, cities were actually forced to pay out millions to the terrorist groups that carried the riots out. We're all familiar with leftist tactics like stopping traffic, which the police just let them do, and invading government buildings to obstruct government proceedings. And no charges, much less these DAs stretching to see how intense they can make these charges. Democrats protested in front of the homes of SCOTUS judges, which is outright illegal because it's essentially threatening judges at their homes before a decision. A felony. But for some reason, those laws don't apply to Democrats. Gorsuch brought up the fire alarm that Bowman pulled, which actually took away city resources, which could have got somebody hurt or killed. And that's just besides obstructing an official act of Congress. But instead of being charged with obstruction or anything serious, he got a slap on the wrist that he himself gloated would be removed from his record later. And just real quick, I like that he mentioned mostly peaceful protests because the fact is, January 6th, was a mostly peaceful protest with around 372 people charged with rioting and another 300 or so with destruction of property which is likely mostly the same people the other thousand or so that are being charged with insane crimes are being pursued by militarized government agents were just trespassing but as you can see from this video these partisan biden dojs are always going to carve themselves out an exception from having to apply those standards to their protesters there was no insurrection attack or assault it was a 
minor riot that a very small group of people took part in that has been endlessly propagandized in order to justify a Biden government crackdown on his opponents. All right, folks, I've been rambling enough. Tell me what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button as well. All right, that's all I have for now, but make sure to keep checking back for more. See you on the next one.